Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is NG Paradox, and welcome back to our Teutonic Order Let's Play. Now, last time we left off, obviously, we'd, we'd hurt Lithuania and Poland quite a bit. We've managed to split them up. We've released Polotsk and stuff like that. So we've really been hurting them recently. Um, oh, okay. Because uh, this Teutonic Order arrival, that's great. Brandenburg and Golden Horde has announced Lithuania. Excellent. Um, so there's a few things going on right now. Last time we left off, we had a big war. Uh, we don't have many soldiers. We really have to rebuild our army. Also, we can build some more army. We can build some more ships. We've got a lot of rebuilding to do. We've got lots of uh, rebels as well. So there's a lot of things going on right now. We need to try and take care of this. Uh, let's go look at the rebels first then. Um, we can try and deal with these. I guess we could do some harsh treatment, make a core. I guess making them into cores is probably a good idea. We should probably do that. Yeah. And I think we'll harsh treat. It's only 50. We'll do that for now. Just to lower it. And we'll continue. So we're going to have to do a little bit of waiting for now. Hopefully by the time our country is rebuilt, we can attack Poland again, which I think is in five years. And actually, if you look down here, there's actually a succession war going on. I think it's um, with France. Defender against France in the Argonese succession war. So there's a big succession war going on there. France versus Castile and Aragon. Um, Pomerania declared war on Brandenburg. Good for them. Ah, little Pomerania. You're trying to rebuild yourselves. Good for you. So far, we have good relations with lots of people. Um, I want to rebuild relations with Austria. They don't like me. We want to make sure the Emperor likes us, because he could be a big problem, obviously, in the future. Hopefully one day Bohemia can become... Nope. No one wants Bohemia to be the Emperor. People would rather the Palatinate, which I don't understand why. Why would people want the Palatinate? They're, they're not... They're tiny. They're not as big as Bohemia, or strong. Oh, well, we'll see. But yeah, we've had to destroy our alliance with Muscovy, which isn't too bad. We did plan to do that at some point, but I think we did it a bit too early. And they're pretty big, though. We need to try and stop their expansion. Or they are going to form Russia, and that is just going to cause me problems. Too, too many problems. Now, it looks like France and Hungary are winning. Hungary is actually helping France. So it looks like they're doing a good job at the moment. Occupied by Savoy. Do you have two wars? Yeah, Savoy and some others. What's this one then? Defender against Savoy in the Savoy Conquest of Province. Ah, okay. So Savoy are taking advantage of the situation. Savoy is not doing too bad, I don't think, actually. Yeah. France, obviously, is not doing too bad either. They seem to have expanded a little bit. Um, I don't know what this war is about. I know it's a succession war, but is this about France becoming, you know, inheriting Aragon? Is it versus France versus Castile, but Aragon takes Castile's side? I'm not exactly sure. Aragon is less a partner in the union. So they're in a union. So I'm assuming France is trying to destroy this. That's what I'm assuming. So it'd be nice if France can succeed. But then again, does that mean then France gets Aragon? I don't know. It doesn't actually say. Uh, what does that say? War goal. Defend controls Valencia. Okay. Raw marriage. Don't think anything else. Okay. Nope, nothing else tells me what's going on there. Uh, we can increase technology. Yet we need to do this. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, at the moment, things have gone quite well. I think last time we rebuilt some ships, which is good. We need to get our trade ships back. Control the Baltic Sea. How is our Baltic Sea going? Uh, 56%. We collect 10.7 gold. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, well, so we have 19% control up here. 8% up here. But there's, a lot of, there's a lot more gold up here. We probably have more of an effect up here than we would here in Krakow. Um, ban pilgrimage and superstitious practices. Okay, the strict dictatorial attitudes of Hochmeister Ludwig of Luxembourg has provoked the peasants and burghers of Teutonic Order who demand that the ban on pilgrimages and superstition practices be lifted. Uh, leads to prestige or devotion. We have lots of prestige right now, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, no one else seems to be... It's uh, moving this way. 2.7 is moving that way. We're already moving it up, actually. 
Ah, that's a good point. We're already moving it up, that's why. Okay, yep, yeah, that looks fine. I'm happy with how we're dealing with that. Are we building any more ships? Yeah, we're building some more. I say it was a while since I played actually. Okay, we built quite a few. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, we seem to have not much money. Now, Rebel Faction, Lithuania. There we go. We can spend a bit more. Lithuania separatists seem to be growing. But we should be able to get rid of those guys quite easily. I think it's 37. We can declare war on Poland again. How's this war going? At the moment, it's like Castile's beating France on score. Seems to be saying, yeah. And he's at war with England... Leinster, Scotland, and Tyrone. What? England, Leinster, Scotland, and Tyrone have all got together. How is this? English reconquest of our Magnac. Wow. Interesting. England's managed to unite... Uh, Sc is Scotland its vassal? Yeah, it's a vassal of England. That makes sense then. Uh, Tyrone is also a vassal of England, and so is Leinster. Wow. England's kind of vassalized all of them except for Munster. Ah, good for you, England. They could form Great Britain very soon, I suspect. Uh, what was a Magnac? I don't know if that's how you say it, but... Ah, they want to take this. Interesting choice. Huh. Okay. That could cause some problems. I'd like to see England win that. I'd like to see France win this and then England win that. Hopefully that breaks the Castile and Aragon. Um... You know, union, personal union. No one's attacking the Ottomans, though, which is kind of upsetting. Because they are pretty big and powerful. If we check the ledger, I'll let time continue while I do this. The Ottomans are by far the most powerful. We need Muscovy, really, to fight them. That's really the only way. Or France. Uh, England, though. Wow, 32,000. Aragon. Hungary. Bohemia, Lithuania. Yep. Okay. For now, like I said before, we're not going to convert to a uh, Protestant because I want to kind of keep what we have at the moment. You know, we are the control of the papal faith. Control of the papacy, sorry. So there's really no point in us trying to again get rid of that. We might as well keep our control for now. Okay, air is needed. So our new air, 552. Okay, so our new ruler. We did a new air. Now we don't need devotion. So we could get some prestige, that's okay. Um, Lithuania's opinion goes up by 50. I don't think that's going to help overall. Let's have a quick look. Once your promise, 104, okay, only minus 140. I guess we could get Lithuania to like us. Huh. Nah, we're done with Lithuania. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, Merchant Sun, you know what? Merchant Sun, 79 gold, that could be quite useful right now. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Merchant Sun. I want the gold. 5 2 1. Okay, okay, fine. Not so good there, but still, for now, we're fine. 5 5 2. Uh, let's concentrate on this one. Yep, yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, benign Neglect. It seems the government that governs the least governs the best. Okay, local trade power. Local tax modifier. Local manpower. I think for now, we want manpower. Yeah, if it moves, draft it. There we go. Done. Still 50%. Uh, provincial unrest. There's a bit everywhere, but it should be fine. Lithuania and Poland have been a bit quiet, a bit too quiet. I don't like this. Austria's now war. Everyone seems to be quite peaceful, apart from France and stuff. Yeah. Sweden, Denmark. We still got those Protestant zealots there. Not really sure what they're doing. I think they're already, yeah, they already are Protestants. I'm not really sure what they're rebelling about. Their government is Protestant. Conquer Novgorod. Okay, Muscovy still wants uh, to defeat Novgorod. Okay. Other than that, we're quite, we're doing okay for now. There's not really much for me to do. Just need to wait. Because I could make some claims. As usual, don't want to go into the Holy Roman Empire. Um, Lithuania has allies with Sweden and the Hansa. He's allies with Denmark, Pomerania. So that's great there. They both are not allied to each other. We're actually third on points. 
I mean, if, if that's how you like to play, if you like to play based on points, we're actually third. I don't think we're doing too badly, to be honest. We could be doing better, but it's not too bad. We want to get Bohemia to like me more, I think. Let's increase relations for now. Um, Plotsk as well. I'd like to increase relations with you, I think. Actually, we'll, we'll leave one diplomat for now, just in case we need him. It's always good to have that, just in case. How are your wars going, France? Okay, France is starting to win both wars. Uh, truce has expired with the Hansa. Okay, that's fine. Oh, some more Protestant zealots down there. Okay. Occupied by Saxony. Things aren't looking good for Brandenburg. Poor, poor little Brandenburg. Bavaria is actually doing okay. I normally find Bavaria does not do so well because they, they start off pretty small in the first uh, scenario. So they're not really in a good position. Brandenburg, really? Oh, Nassau. Okay. The Palatinate actually is actually coming up to compete with Austria on this, actually. That's interesting. Only 33 princes, though. That's not really so good. That's not really that good. Cacacia is doing quite well. Huh. Okay. Oh, we've got another one. There we go. Protect, protect our trade. 70. Okay, may need to deal with this. If it goes up to 80, I will do harsh treatment. Now, we can now do up another one. Uh, naval drill. We can increase our uh, morale of navies. I would love to have a good navy, just in case we get in war with England or something, control the land between us, Denmark, and Sweden. That would be really nice. Um, military. Our military technology is quite high. You need 1,100 power. Wow, okay, that's basically impossible. That's There's like no point to that. We might as well increase this. Um, should I wait there and use harsh treatment? How much does harsh treatment cost for this one? 71. How's the unrest? Yeah, let's do harsh treatment first. And then when it goes back up, I will then do it. When it goes back up to it next time, I will do it that time. I think overall we're balancing this quite well. I should increase the time a bit more, I think. Um, Austria has been increased the most. Okay, we're called diplomat. Really? Plus 85, that's not too bad. Could not get an alliance though for now. Call diplomat. Okay, let's go to Polotsk then. Might as well just make them like us a bit more. Maybe we could vassalize them later. That'd be quite nice. If we eat into Lithuania. The great thing would be if these two do not ally, we could attack Poland. Then we could attack Lithuania. That could be really good for us. It could allow us to kind of attack them in between each other. As long as we don't lose too many men. And their allies aren't too big. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Yeah. Liberate... Smolensk. Where is Smolensk? I don't know. I've forgotten what part of uh, the east that is. I don't remember. Damn it. Oh, well. Not a big deal. I should probably try to uh, claim some more lands. What was going to claim at the moment? Uh, Ozel, Kaliz, and Sand. Sand, blah, blah, blah. That place. Okay, yeah. I think I'm doing a lot of places here. Um... Warsaw might be a good place. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, yeah, Warsaw. There we go. We'll try and uh, get a claim for that. Next time we'll try and get a claim for one of these in Lithuania. Maybe, I guess, Brasta. Brasta, so we can get like a nice little bridge there to uh, Polotsk, I think. That'd be good. And like I say, I want to get, I want to get, I want to give Livonian order some land, like over here. Maybe the plots get. Oh, did the plots just increase? No, they didn't. I don't think they did. Did they? They always had this, yeah. What's going on here? What? Muscovy and Caucasia. What? Muscovy, what are you doing? What is going on here? Attack against Novgorod. Conquest of Neva. So they've attacked Novgorod, and you guys are allied to Novgorod. Are you kidding me? I cannot help you. You guys are stupid. Hopefully, Muscovy doesn't take any of their land. I don't mind them taking Novgorod, but hopefully, they just don't take their land. That would kind of hurt. Whoa! The f I did click it, yeah? I did click that. 
Because that went up straight back up. Okay, I'll, I'll click it just in case maybe I didn't. I'm sure I did click that. That must have gone up really quickly because it definitely wasn't the Polish one. Portugal has some rebels. Wow, a, a lot of rebels. Pretender rebels. Jesus. Poor Portugal. Okay, here's some big battles here. Aragon versus France. Looks like France is on the run. Ooh, France is losing. But they're beating England. But maybe they're not so powerful after all. Maybe you're not so strong after all, France. You and your big blue blobs. We're starting to rebuild our men now. Um, still got a long way to go. Now declare war on Sweden. Don't want to declare war on Sweden. They're actually a possibly good ally in the future. Baltic Sea. Claims on our rivals. Okay. Excellent. We get a claim on Poland for free. That's nice. Sweden, are you in that war as well? Norway, Denmark. And Muscovy. What the... What is going on here? Swedish conquest. Okay, so Sweden's attacking Norway. And they're helping... Uh, yeah. Northgard, it looks like. Damn it. Damn you, Muscovy. Religious civil disorder. We may... Yeah. I, I definitely want to convert because I want to make Prussia. But we're going to have to wait until we're no longer the, pape, the Pope... I guess we'll spend all our uh, people influence before we do it as well. We have a little bit there. What could we get? You know, I'll see when we get to the end of it. The Christians are all too busy fighting each other when they should be fighting the Ottomans. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Got a core. 60, 50%. Let's uh, do this idea. There we go. Yeah, still got a long way to go before we get back all our soldiers. Kakesi is there. Polotsk. I don't think they can move their men out of there. That's another reason why we should try and bridge that piece of land so they can actually get out of there. Oh, wait, no, they can. Well, that's good. Oh, nice nice, nice Lithu uh, Lithuania. Lithuania seems to have given them access, I guess. That's kind of nice of them. Okay, I think we can declare war soon. Okay. Lithuania, we can't attack until May 1545. Wow. Okay, so we're not able to attack Lithuania, but we can attack Poland at the end of this year. Now, I don't think we're ready to attack them, personally. Let's look at our things. Okay, we're ahead of diplomatic power by quite a lot. It's going to cost us a lot to get it up. So, I mean, we probably should just get the extra diplomatic relation. That's a really good one. And envoy travel time. Those are really good. So, I'm going to get that. Missionary strength for yearly people influence. Excellent. So, we can now have one new ally. So that's a question now. Who do we want as our ally? Now, Sweden could be a good choice. Having Sweden as my ally could be a nice one. Especially if we fight Poland, that means Sweden can fight Denmark for us. France has always liked us. We could get an alliance with France. That is a pretty good alliance. You know, France is always a great ally to have. Her. Huh. Could get Milan. Yeah. Sweden would. Norway. Muscovy. We could, we're could. not able to become alliance, allies with them again for a while. We'll, we'll wait and see. There's a lot of wars happening right now. But we'll see. France, you know, it's just the obvious choice. But they're in lots of wars and they're losing. Oh, that war's finished. Under Castile. Looks like Castile won. Wow, okay, so Castile has the union with Aragon. France, though, is winning their war with England. And they are allied to Hungary as well. Norway has 11,000 men in Hungary. I have no idea what they're doing. Poland's getting a lot of troops together. What are they planning? How many men does Poland have? Is Poland even on the board for this? 
I'm up here already, 24,000. That's nice. Where's Poland? There we go, Poland. 15,000 men. Uh, 7,000 manpower. One mercenary. Okay, so we could attack Poland. Would be quite good. They have Denmark as their ally. Denmark is at war right now. So that could be quite useful. We'll wait till the end of the year and see. And Pomerania. Pomerania is having the you know, rebels and stuff. That's not too bad. Let's, uh... Oh, no. That covert. Have a good claim. Um... Brasta, yeah. 